So by now, we all know that 2014 was the hottest year on record. Well, unfortunately, uh, it is now the case that 2015 has surpassed 2014 and is now the new hottest year on record by quite a bit. So the New York Times explains, the whole system is warming up relentlessly, said Gerald a. Meal, a scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. It will take a few more years to know for certain, but the back-to-back -back records of 2014 and 2015 may have put the world back onto a trajectory of rapid global warming, after a period of relatively slow warming dating to the last powerful El Nino in 1998. So now when you look at average temperatures, you can see how the trend consistently has increased to above average temperatures year after year. So now we've been warming consistently since the 1970s, but how fast we've been warming was what scientists were really trying to figure out. So when you look at the world map here, you'll see that uh, almost everywhere on the planet was above average temperatures in 2015, and this is really, really troubling. So I mean, this goes without saying, the time to act is right now. We can't be putting forth these proposals that people call ambitious to cut carbon by 50% by 2050 or whatnot. I mean, look at this. How can you look at this and say, well, we can make, you know, we can make this benchmark that will meet later than the line. I mean, even if we were to stop CO2 emissions right now at 100%, I mean, the consequences are still going to be devastating. We've come too far. We've warmed up the planet still that we're going to have to deal with the repercussions of it. Now, the problem is that we don't even know all the consequences that will come to fruition with global warming, right? So, I mean, we know that, you know, the ice caps will melt and that's going to raise sea levels. Uh, but what we don't know is what new diseases might come to fruition, you know, as the polar caps melt. We don't know what's going to happen after mass migration becomes an issue when we have wars over water and whatnot. I mean, what are we supposed to do? I mean, as a species, we're not equipped to deal with this yet. We have been basically just sitting aside and have been ignoring this. But, I mean, global warming is here. To deny it is just insane. Now, as Bernie Sanders stated, the debate is over, okay? We're not debating whether or not uh, climate change is real. If you're trying to debate this, then you're just not being serious, right? And you need to step aside. But... What we need to do now is debate how we can stop it, and we have to take drastic efforts, right? I mean, all of us have to pitch in. It needs to be a global effort, but leaders of every single country, they're just, they're not ambitious enough. I mean, right, we just had the climate talk in Paris, and what came from that was, it was a deal nonetheless, but it wasn't sufficient to actually stop a full uh, catastrophe, right? So we need to stop the planet from rising to above two degrees and it's too late for us to do that so the takeaway is that you know the consequences of climate change are inevitable uh and it's not just the case that you know well, i don't have to deal with that you know the future generations will have to deal with that no i mean with how fast it's warming we are going to have to deal with some of these consequences and it just blows my mind that there isn't more action it blows my mind that we can't just come together and stop producing subsidies for the fossil fuel industry and actually fund green technology, which is going to be the next economic boom. We can't do that because, well, the political establishment in Washington just can't get anything done. So, I mean, really, really, really sad news. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. It's just horrible.